Joanna, Jo Jo Joanna. Extremely random. Um, another episode. What is this? What is this? You got something right there. Uh, seven. Episode seven. Yeah. Episode seven. Episode seven. Anything? Um, we're back again. Mm. Drinking wine. Um, yeah, baby. You know, doing this nonsense again. Hey, man. Um, nonsense again. Well, you know, we're doing it. Um, it's, it's random. It's disturbing. Yeah, you know but I mean? ain't no nonsense. Don't ain't say no that. Nonsense. Don't say that. Don't say that. All right. Well, we back. We doing it again. Oh, you got to see what I'm going to see this. No, do it. Do it. Well, 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 um, dollars? What? Yeah, you just play for whatever. That was a lot of money. Um, cost more to go to Atlantic City. Oh, what a nice city. All right, well, we're back again with another episode. Now you got a couple things to talk about. Um, I'm, I want to talk about uh, Soldier Boy. I want to um, talk about Chris Brown. We can talk about Chris Brown too. We can talk about. Uh, I want to talk about uh, the Super Bowl a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Coming up next week, I want to say something about that. Some type of way about that. I got some issues with some with a lot of people. Um, As usual. Um, I want to see you. I got a show. I'm gonna see you watch. Um, we will talk about it. And um, I want to know. I really want to get to the bottom of everybody saying that um, that they got um, mental health issues. <laughs> that bothers me. It should, um, cause you got some. I mean, probably. Oh, I'm yeah, not you running do. around saying it. I'm not trying to. You know what I'm saying? Um, Put a uh, put a saddle on the hashtag and ride it. Though. Mm. You know what I mean? A lot of people doing it, so we're gonna talk about all that. All right, so that's what we're talking about this week. So once again, welcome. Um, glad you made it. Uh, what up to everybody who's been watching? Um, our, little, our small but growing audience and anything. The people who check it out on Anchor, on YouTube, uh, on Google Podcast, Spotify, and all those other platforms. Yo, thanks for checking us out. Um, ride with us now and anything, so we can. No, you know exactly who's loyal next in the future. I want to make sure they hear on both mics. My mic work. Mine do too. Alright. So, um. I still ain't playing it out yet, but okay. I was going to do it for you, actually. I was actually going to do it, but I was like, you know what, knowing you, if I do it, you might get mad and say, like, I used the wrong one. The wrong one. So just ask me the colors. Alright, what color? Let me tell me the colors. Pink and lavender. Pink and lavender. Mm-hmm. Alright, gotcha. They got to be see. bling bling, though. I'm gonna blink. I'm gonna blink. Oh boy, I don't know if I'm gonna like this one. I might blink my own. I might. Yeah, because I told you it was blog. I might go ham on this joint right here. Just on one side, though. Get one side of it. Yeah, you can't because the speaker on both uh, the other side. So you only got one side to um, go ham on. Duh. You really, really, really take it. Black on black crime stuff, huh? Yep. Yo, so Let's Soldier Boy. Time. Let's do this Soldier Boy thing. Um, so you saw Soldier Boy said that he was, uh, you know, this is like maybe a week and a half, two weeks ago, or whatever. 
maybe last week, Nathan Soldier Boy said that he was um, everybody's respons he's responsible for everybody's uh, careers nowadays, and like the Drakes and the Migos and the Chief Keefs and all that. I don't know if you know about these rappers, do you? I know about Drake. I know about Chief, the Migos. Chief Keef. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, but he said that um, he's responsible for a lot of people's career. He's like, yo, he's like the granddaddy of all of it. Um, hey, but wait. I believe He younger than all of them, He is younger. He is younger than anything. But he but started off young, though. He started off young. And he did influence a lot of people. So I'm going to ride with Soldier Boy on that. I agree. Um, the thing is that, you know, a lot of people, they was uh, they were saying, like, yo, it ain't so. And they're not really going for it. And they laughing about it or whatever. They think he's half crazy. I think he's high and anything. But I do believe him. I ride with him on that. Because he was saying something about he started the internet music. He started, nah, he started the internet, the, the way for um, rappers coming out of the internet and spawning their careers from the internet. He did do that. You know what I'm saying? He did a lot of stuff. Um, so why he ain't getting his recognition then? People don't like to really give people recognition. They, like, listen, I started a podcast and everything 11 years ago. And anything, right? Um, I got to stop saying and everything and I just said it and you ain't stopped me. Because I, I would, if I did, if I would interrupt you, you're like, I, I'm, I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do the show. We trying to get through this. You're right. You're right. I would have said that. So I was waiting well, patiently. Um, he said that. I, well, I started a podcast uh, 11 years ago or whatever, and I saw I feel Ebro. Like I got into you there. I saw Ebro on you know on Twitter and on the radio um, in the morning on um, New York Ebro radio. Ebro from Hot 97. Hot 97. Yeah, he said that he was the first, he's the grandfather of the hip hop podcast. I beg to differ. I am. Well, I am. Why do you beg to differ? I am. I am. What makes you? Because I started the first hip hop podcast. He said he put Rosenberg and Cypher Sounds together to do one. I didn't just put people together. I did one. 267 episodes later. You got proof of that? Yes, I do. You I put the link up and everything. It? I put the link up and everything. To yeah. prove that you are. I put the link up and everything. Yo, you know who my first um, guest was? Me? T. Ross. T. Ross. Next. Yeah, see? Listen, you see how she. I am going to do that. Um. So just so you know, I was the, I'm the grandfather of hip hop podcast. I'm the grandfather. I did that. I was introducing new music. Oh, that's why you got all that gray hair. Yeah. Cause you're the grandfather. Exactly. All exactly. right, all right, all right. Exactly. Hey, yeah. you um, you heard of um, you watch you watch you watch Netflix? Or you watch you watch anything like on demand or anything like that? No. First off, that box that everybody get. What box? The box that they get on cable, like the little the, the fire stick and all of that stuff like that. That don't come with cable. But you know everybody always talking about this fire stick. They say, I, you know, I dropped my cable so that I can get the uh, fire stick. Are you talking about that? I don't care. It's on YouTube and everything. They talk about it. It's a bunch. Of, they got like mad hits. Okay. Well, it's like um everybody know about this, but the fire stick and anything in the box, people be getting on TV. That's yeah. trash. That's your trash. The fire stick. All that. That's all trash. The the, the jailbroken one. The one when you be watching stuff for free. That's all trash. I'm going to tell you why. Wait, what do you mean? I'm confused. Ah, you're not hip to the streets. But you be coming with honey butter chips, but you ain't hip to the streets. Don't get that. Explain that. But, um... Okay, it's a difference, okay? I bet you get them... I bet wherever you get those honey butter chips from, you can get that box. Or the, or the jailbroken fire stick. I bet you. What's the difference in a regular uh, fire stick and a jailbroken one? The jailbroken one, you can get all the, um... Stuff for free. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah. What's, what's wrong with that? I don't know what it is. So I mean, what are you talking about? It. You said it's trash. You, it's trash because when you get it, it's you always buffering. One. No, somebody I was trying to use somebody's and it it stays it keeps buffering. Maybe because it wasn't programmed for your TV. All right, I'm done. It's trash. Um, I don't think that I don't think you should shut your cable off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> to get it, I, I, that's all I'm saying. Maybe it just it just didn't work. Wasn't working for you in your area. It wasn't working for them either. When I was trying to see something. Well, maybe they didn't know what they were doing. So it don't work for two TVs then, mine and theirs. Anyway, but you ain't know what it was for a minute, though, right? But you didn't know. I don't. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't. Miss I don't, Honey, I don't. Miss, Miss Honey Butter. That's right, Honey Butter. <laughs> Yo, that video that you put up on your Instagram and anything with you dancing to the Miss Honey to the Honey Butter, that was hilarious. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> like a lot, that was hilarious. Right, Honey Butter. Honey Yo. Butter. So anyway, what I was saying was, is a show called Escape at Danamora. And they didn't about the, uh, the Clinton for Correctional Facility up in New York, up in upstate New York, the state prison. It's a real story. It was, in a, it was back in 2015, but the two inmates escaped 
Canadian, Puerto Rican guy, white guy. They escaped, and uh, the lady CEO, she helped them leave. She was messing with both of them. Oh, I heard about that. You gotta watch that. Dope. dope, it's a, it's dope so series. they made it into a, uh, a series? That phone's scared to shut up. That's business. I do business. I do business. Just break through the, right through the mic. Hey, my mic sound nice. I guess Check it too. It's business. Hey, um, so um, I was talking about that the, 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 damn before that phone scared the shit out of me. Scared me hey, too. Um, I didn't know what it was. Damn, I need to drink of that. <laughs> oh, you need that as an excuse? Yeah, we always need an excuse to drink. Um, I know, I know places and people that don't need no excuse. They drink every day of the week. Professions, so, professions. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, but um, I was talking about the Dan Moore show, um, um, series. Yeah, you gotta check it out. But oh, I was gonna ask you, you um, if you would, would you go see a guy in prison? You asked me this before. No, I wanna go. Know how far you would go? Would you? Would you? You asked me all this before. So would you? I told you. I, I have somebody just just went. Okay. So you would. Mm, I'm not, I'm not gonna. Um, I'm gonna leave that alone. No, we, uh, yeah, I already told right. you. No, well, we're not going that. If you worked at a prison, you probably. Would. <sighs> no, I'm not. All right then, damn. No, all right, we'll watch the show. I don't want to. All right, don't do it. It was good. You going? You missing out? Oh, that's your opinion. All right, my opinion. So, how you feel about this Super Bowl? These um, performances and stuff. Oh, I don't care about them. I like to see the commercials. You don't care nothing about the performers. Mm -mm. Cardi B can't, you know, she said no, she's not doing it. Travis Scott said yeah. Big Boy said he's going to perform. Big Boy from Outkast. Yes? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. You don't feel no kind of way about that? You sure he said that? I mean, tell me. What did he say? I don't know. You uh, tell him yeah. Big Boy said he's performing. Big Boy and um, Travis Scott. Well, gonna, what is Big gonna Boy going to perform? He's going to perform some songs. Big Boy got some songs. Old or new? Old and new. Is it no songs? It probably does. You Google it. You know, I mean, uh, YouTube it. You find it. But um, you so how do you just wait for it to hit the radio? So how do you feel about about these artists, these black artists? Let's go with that black artists who are performing, who are willing to perform for Super Bowl, even though, even though um, it's kind of frowned upon by a lot of other people in the industry. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that right there. Ain't it kind of like Colin Kaepernick, he taking his knee in vain? It was all in vain now. And like he's still not working, right? He still ain't working. But here they are, they're going to go and work. And people say, like, you don't get paid for Super Bowl performances, but you do get exposure. So you're putting on a, on a show for the people who do support what the NFL is doing to players and doing to... But Charles Scott says this is going to a, a charity. Don't matter. You're still putting on a show for the people who cares what you do with the money. You're still putting on a show. Don't give them the show. You know what I mean? It's like this man's still out of work. Don't nobody How many years it been? What has it been? What, a year? Two years? Two years? Isn't um, that under, like, he trying to take that to something and see if... I don't know what's going on with that. And they, I don't watch football anyway. I don't watch football at the beginning. So why the hell you want to talk about it? Because I'm talking about it's something it's something that's big in the news. So I just want to you know, see your opinion on it. You watch football. You stand right. And, and I, so. I know who I want to win. I, damn, she said, damn them performances. You know who you want to, who you want to win? The Rams. Alright. Okay. The Rams then. Um my bracket is all messed up, bro. Your, your mic wasn't on all that time? It wasn't back? Nah, back. I want the Rams to run to, to win. How much of that you had? And they think but, um <laughs> Not back yet far. But um so you want the Rams? And why did you say that? Why did you like give them the sexy? I want the Rams win. That was a real commercial line. Cause you know why? You know how it's Rams. The Rams. The Rams. Rams. The Rams be making sounds like cats now. I didn't say that. But that's what you did. You said the Rams. Rams. No. The ra ra. Uh, okay, got you. All right. You know what? Hey, hey. Alright, I just wanted to know how you felt about the performances. That's really how this all started. Well, I was just going another direction. I know. I see that. That's why it's called disturbingly random. Anything is liable to happen randomly. Exactly. Hello. Hello. Uh -huh. True. True. I'm, I'm going with that. Hey, um, what is this wine you put here this week anyway? That's some good shit right there. It is good. It is good. Pour it up. It's real good. It's good. You know, I love wine. It's sweet. I want you know what I want to try. What I want to go where I can step in and make my own wine on the grapes and make my own wine. You gonna put your feet on some grapes and stuff? And where you think that came from? Um, probably machine. But you want to put your feet on the, on the mm -hmm. 
No grapes. That might get down and dirty with it. <laughs> Y'all ain't hitting the GoFundMe <laughs> yet. Y'all crazy. <laughs> hey. Did you um put any in my in the account yet? I'm about to. I keep forgetting. You say I that. Swear I keep forgetting. You... I swear. You know, and I gotta set an example. I gotta set an example. You say this every week and have not done it. You're right. Yes. You are right. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm dead. I'm dead ass. I'm going to do it. I promise. I'm about to take it down because mm -hmm. I ain't even got a dollar yet. That's because you ain't pushing it. You ain't pushing it. You got to push that stuff like it's, like it's crack on the streets. Push that. Push that GoFundMe. You push it for me then. You be my runner then. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> how, do you, how do you tell somebody to be your runner? Ain't that crazy? Yo, you be my runner. That made me, that made me sweat. Just that got me scared. I don't like that talk. Well... You talking about I gotta push it. Yeah. You 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 initiate it, so you push it. All right. Okay. I'm sorry. All right, I will. Yes. I'll be out there bright and early. Damn. <laughs> I want I, I better see some money up on there. I, all right. Okay. You know what? If I come back, I don't see no money, it's gonna be some problem. I get the story. I know how this goes. I've I've been here before. Maybe not on this side, but I've been here before. <laughs> I've been in this storybook before. Hey, <laughs> um, so listen, it was um you, you said you want to talk about this Chris Brown situation. Yes. Cause I really feel like people were starting to judge him and saying that he did this and didn't even give him a chance. And I honestly knew deep down in my heart that Chris Brown didn't do that. Deep down in my heart. I, I knew he didn't. Um, because you know why? Why? Ever since he had his daughter, mm -hmm. that man changed his life. That yeah. little girl changed his life. I that little that. girl did a 360 tour, and I'm so thankful for that. A 180. What? A 360 means he's right back in the same spot. Oh. Because that's total, that's a full circle. He did a 180, he went the opposite direction. Oh, so that's what that means? A 180 is that way. Oh, I'm He did a 180. <laughs> All right. But I'm just saying. I know people say I did a three, they did a 360. Because I know a 360 is a full circle, because so that means they're right back to where they was at. Oh, he didn't do that then. Yeah, he did a 180. He did a 180. Yeah, half of that. Half of that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, matter of fact, he he didn't do it. Period. I know that. <laughs> so you they know. tried to they tried to um. They tried to railroad him. Yeah, they did. But that, but you know what though? I'm I'm, I'm gonna be real. Because he could have he could have been stuck out there, stuck, stuck over there. Stuck over in Paris. Yo, um, and then it really would have been niggas in Paris. And you notice how they did that after he was just got that um thing about the first um R B. First R B what? Give me a minute. All right. Well, why you take that minute though? Um, like Eve was one of the people who prejudged him. Eve, she got, she got up. Look, she about to go to the, do your googles. Eve was one of them. Can, you can do two things at once because I'm gonna talk to you about this. Because remember, Eve, she got on. Um, she was online and everything talking about how, uh, you know, making making kind of her commentary was kind of pointing in the direction that you know Chris more than likely did it. And I don't like that. And there was somebody else on the news as well. Some lady was on the news. They was trying to say that um, um, just because of Chris Pat's history with Rihanna, what was that, seven years ago? Uh, that situation with Rihanna and anything, then more than likely he did it. And anything with this, um, or he, he did sexually assault this young lady over in Paris. And I'm not saying that Chris didn't do it because I wasn't there or whatever like that. It just don't seem likely. I'm going to go with that. You know what I mean? Okay, I got it. What? Chris Brown signs New Deal and becomes youngest artist to own his master's recording. His master's recording, wow. And then the same, and then that bullshit came out about that rape allegation. Wow. How, why would you want to coincide that together while this man is having a moment? I mean, I mean. Like, you just taking a shine. I mean, yeah. You know that was saying? toxic uh, masculinity again? That's, if he did it. If he did it, then it's toxic masculinity. No, I'm saying the way they was trying to do him. No, that's, no, that's just, that's some, that's, nowadays, Everybody's on the come up. You know I heard a lady on um, 105.1 Friday. She was talking about it. And I wanted her to come out and say that word. Because we, we, we used it. Because that's when you asked me about the Cardi B and Offset thing. That word is becoming very known now. You know it, is, it is. It's a common phrase. Now. Let me guess. Because of you. Right? No, that's not because of me. Okay. You know what I mean? I don't like, I don't like the term. Okay. I don't like it at all. Um, but mm. the thing. I don't like when people use it. I don't like when people use overly saturated terms and words and anything or whatever. Just you going to use it everything again. Yeah, I, well, I gotta, you got to tap me. Whenever I do it, just do this. All right? Then you be like, what happened? Nah, I'm a no. Money? I'm a no. Oh, so that's the cue? Okay. Right, that's, that's the cue. Say it again. Nah, because you just want to hit me. Uh -huh. <laughs> but um, it's, it's like, I don't like when people use 
you use things that's just a hot topic. Yeah, where you get everything from? That's just something to, to, that's like a, I don't get that from anybody. I got that from trying to keep thoughts running. So, that's what people it's like that, saying, no, like no, no, the word like. It's just, right, it's like like. So it's that's like, the same like. thing. No, no, that's not what I mean. Like is one thing. That's Like is, is sort of like listening to uh, a teenager talk, so you know they're going to keep saying like. So that's like a senior citizen saying everything. You know what I'm saying, man? Everything. <laughs> and everything. Back in the day and everything. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, what I was saying was, I don't like when people use, <laughs> they speak the same, or Ooh. they use the same terms, and they just put saddles on hashtags and they ride them. And just because that's what everybody else is doing. I, I don't like that. Like, everybody assumes the same thoughts. I don't like that. You know what I mean? So, like, when Chris Brown got hemmed up and everything, or almost got hemmed up, you didn't hit me because I said everything. Um, when Chris Brown got hemmed, almost got hemmed up last week, everybody jumped on the bandwagon to try to say that uh, he must be guilty because of the situation with him and Rihanna. You can't just say that. You're about to destroy somebody's life, and they might not have done it. You know what I mean? So, if you wasn't there, then... It's cool to have an opinion or whatever, but you got to be careful about your opinion nowadays, especially when you got power. When you got a platform and you got power and you got people who listen to you and they follow you, you got to be careful what you say about people. Because you can kind of steer people's, you know, their brains in a, another way or their judgment. So don't you think you need way. to do that? Yeah, I Watch do. what you say because you got, we might have a platform. Yeah, we do got a platform. We do. Okay, you know so no matter how small it is. Okay, so you, got, you probably got to watch how you say things, curve your tongue. No, when I when I say things, I want people to follow me. I want people to to, to, to agree with me. I'm just not saying something they think that's going to damage people. What? I'm not going to say nothing to damage nobody though. I'm not trying to make people turn against somebody or like I'm not going to ever say something that's going to steer somebody's life in the wrong path because I know what it did to steer my life in the wrong path at one point. I know what happened. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, listen, I know what it is to get judged by circumstantial evidence. I know what it is like to be, get judged by somebody who pointed the finger at you. Even when they didn't catch you doing what you did, whether you did it or not, I know what that's like. So I don't. You know do that. one of your stories you was telling. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I can tell you a million stories Ooh like that. Wee. You know what I mean? Um, I, I cost for two bottles of under. <laughs> I yeah, I can tell a million. Listen, if you if if you bought my cookbook, you can hear some of the stories. If you bought my, I saw the play. Yeah. I wish it could have just. It could have did bigger. Yeah, yo, check. Uh, listen, I'm gonna put the link. We, I'm gonna put the link somewhere in the description for both of my books, just so people can check it out or whatever. And you know, they can pick up either book. You know, they both on Amazon. And, you know what I mean, there's a lot of stories in there yeah, about how I almost said everything. Um, about you know, uh, uh, about what what I went through and what happened, and you know, how I got through it or whatever. But enough of that. But um, so aside from the Chris Brown thing. To see how people did that. And you're not talking. I'm listening. Two people can't talk at the same time. I don't need a mic. I got a voice. Oh, wow. She got a voice. I got a voice. She got a voice. Um, so. Because it scared me when it went, when, 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 it, when it rang. So, I, so you put it down? I like to be cautious. <laughs> Never it's, know. It's, and I'm going to tell you another thing that I don't like. When and people, everything? No, not in everything. I don't like when people. Start holding the mic like they're a rapper. I don't like when people be. <laughs> No, but uh, I don't like I don't like when people when people, you know we need to get like little stands the holders like yeah that. And, so to be standing up and we ain't got a holder we just like yeah you know what I'm saying like that <laughs> no, I'm not doing my mouth like that I'm not doing that <laughs> Nate, that's for you you do that you just said anything uh -huh. again oh okay okay you hit me though again okay we're gonna count the hits too then we ain't know exactly how many times I said and everything all right you get hit me for that one even though I was explaining but. Another one that people people ride is the whole idea of mental health issues. Everybody is saying that they have or they've had bouts with mental health issues or whatever. Um, you know, um, just because it's the hot topic now. You know what I mean? Um, everybody, everybody just like you know, um, yeah, you got to check on your friends and everything and make sure that their mental health is in order. And yeah, that's right. You do got to do that. So why you don't check on me? I do. I just don't ask you how's your mental health. But I'm checking, when I'm checking on you, I'm checking on your mental health and anything about you. Mm. You know what I mean? But you I don't, don't want have, you to ask me about my mental health. Yeah, don't that sound crazy? It's like, what you think, I'm crazy or something? That's how, that's how people look at That's how it As long as you call the check on, that's all that matters. You should be able to talk to somebody and hear, you know what I'm saying, the things that they say and know if they're all right. 
But it's not the issue of checking on friends and whatever like that to see if their mental health is in order. That's not the issue. The issue is that people try to people try to take things that and make it into a hot topic so it diminishes the strength of it. You know what I mean? It takes away from if it's real or if it's not real or whatever like that. You know what I mean? So it's like So that's your new word now, you know what, what I mean? You go from anything, you know what I mean? So it hit me if I say you know what I mean. So I gotta do a pinch and a hit. Alright, pinch for know what I mean, hit for and anything. Hey, you know in a minute we're gonna be over here fighting. <laughs> true, true. But so I mean you better get your shit together. <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah. My whole arm gonna be bruised up. Um but yeah, um it, it's it's What the hell are you sweating for? Come on, it's the wine. The wine. Wine listen, wine does two things. It'll cool you down a little bit, but it'll heat you up a lot. Well, we ain't do neither one for me yet. You ain't drink enough. How you gonna tell me I ain't drink enough? Oh, that bottle is empty. Yeah, you right. Okay. Maybe you did. Uh -huh. Did you just say that bottle was empty? And <laughs> <That bottle's> empty. <laughs> Wait, but, uh, but why my wine not in my glass, though? I don't know why. You, here, look. Johanna, jo jo Johanna, see, there go another bottle empty. Empty. You know, I think people might think we alcoholics. Winos. I ain't no wino and I ain't no alcoholic. Winos. No. Winos. But you know, hey. it could be uh, Welch's grapefruit juice. They don't even know. It could be. It could be. Damn. It's deep. <laughs> it ain't deep. It ain't deep. It just, it could be grape juice. So, um, whether it's not. That's <laughs> <laughs> it's not a great. If grapefruit, if grape juice got you sweating, I'm going to see the manufacturer about that. Yeah, well, you know, um, they, maybe they stomp on the. Well, it's the same same process. I used to make hooch when I was um, at one time. Make hooch. Hooch. How is that? It's prison wine. How do you make that? Uh, you know, and don't I, say I, it's I, in your book because it's not in your book. I swear to God, it's in my book. I swear to God, it's in my book. It's the last chapter. It's a bonus chapter. I swear that was in my cookbook, the bonus chapter. Oh, the cookbook? Yeah. It's there. I didn't get to the end of that. It's there. It's the last chapter. I thought you so much the first book. Takes I gotta make it. I used to make like 40 gallons a week. Did you sell it? Yeah. Of course. I ain't drinking that. Huh? I ain't drinking no 40 gallons. Oh, I thought you were saying because you nah, made it. Nah. You know what you made it, how you made mm -hmm. it. 40 gallons a week. And everything was how did you make it? Uh, water, juice, sugar, yeast. That's it. In jail? In prison. You was making that shit in prison. Yeah. Did you ever sell this here? No. Mm -mm. I, got, I, got, I got put in a hole though for, um, for making hooch dough one time. They ain't never tasted or tried? They probably did. No, no. They probably did. But what was yeah. the alcohol out there? You, it makes alcohol. Sugar in the yeast it, uh, and the juice, it permits. So this shit, I can make my own wine. Yeah. Could you imagine Miss Cookie wine? Miss Cookie hooch. I don't like hooch. No, I don't like hooch. Oh, you gonna call it wine though? Get them, girl. You gotta have Miss Cookie hooch, Miss Cookie wine, and they right. And when people scratch it, you know, matter of fact, listen. You can do like how you had on the nineteen crimes bottle, and then you put the uh, the phone up to it, get an app and put the phone up to it. You be like round, like that. See now you see how we thinking. You see, you see. Coming soon to a theater near you. <laughs> to a theater near you. I mean to a uh, winery and liquor store near you. <laughs> it's gonna be honey butter right next to it. And um, the fire stick. <laughs> and the fire, and the fire stick. Jail broke. No, the fire stick gonna be next to your two books. That's that's cool. Cause people, that's jail like, broke. <laughs> that, wasn't, that wasn't funny. That wasn't funny at all. Uh, that, that really wasn't funny. That wasn't funny at all. But you could tell me why it was funny. That's funny. That ain't yours. You always coincide together, though. But why you try? To, why you trying to hurt me? That shaming. Ain't that shaming? No. Ain't that like um ex con shaming? Is there some is there such thing? Some type of shaming. Well, you always want to make up some shit. Hmm. You need to check on my mental health after that. After saying that. I've been trying to get you some help since you came home. That was a long time ago. And but, you still ain't got no help. But still, man, you need to check on me, though. On, like, you want me to check on you? You should check on me. I'll check on you. Every week you I make on sure. Me, you check on me for my mental health. What the hell is supposed to say? I never met a therapy for nothing. But I should. Let's go to therapy together. For what? What we going to go for? Cause I'm gonna be your supporter. I'm gonna take you. Pause. Pause. 
hey, so I'll let you get back to that. Um, so yeah, so damn, I think that's about it. What you think? You got more stuff to talk about? Or no? You know, I do have a little, a little, a little situation. What? I wanted to go down there to the uh, audition. Mm -hmm. To the BMF thing. Yeah. The BMF audition. I think 50s going to come to New York with that too. I hope so because you know what, the way they did it is kind of hurt my feelings because mm -hmm. they did a Super Bowl weekend and the Super Bowl was down at ATL and they just them them like flights was like out of control. But that's really what it is. It's just um, a Super Bowl party. That's pretty what it is. I would have loved to been that. This that would have been my time to shine down there. Mm -hmm. What? Could you imagine me going to get the part, getting the part, nailing it, having it, and at the Super Bowl? That's a girl's dream. What kind of girl? What you gonna be doing out there? Just popping? Hell no. That's what that's what he's gonna do the Super Bowl. No, I like I could watch football. So you ain't done it. I could see the Rams win. <laughs> the what? Just say it again. The Rams. Rams win. 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 Alright. Okay. Let's start all over again. No, do it one more time. Let me just tell them. Rams win. Show me the hand. Just the hand. Rams win. <laughs> That's funny. Yo, I, I, I'm just saying, cause you know, like a lot of a lot of women, they go down to the to the NBA All Star game or to the Super Bowl, um, and they be down there trying to catch. I got nothing to do with that. I would have went to Old Lady Gay. Hey, Candy. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ty. I would have ate their restaurant. Mm -hmm. Then I would have went to K. Michelle Petals and Puffs. Puffs and Puffs Puffs Petals. And Petals. She got like a um. We can go in there and have like appetizers and drinks and stuff. It's really good. It's really cute. I'll okay. go there. Let me see what else I would have went. I would have went. I only get a weekend, right? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Mm -hmm. So I probably would have eaten drink Saturday. Mm -hmm. Sunday, I would have went to the tailgate party. I when I ain't got tickets to get inside to see the Super Bowl. My mm -hmm. money not big like that. Yet. I ain't never. I ain't never been for those. Parties and Super Bowl things and whatever like. Cause you don't even watch sports like that. But even even back in the days, I didn't well watch sports and I, I didn't I didn't like going to clubs and nothing like that. I'm scared of clubs. No, you was outside the club trying to pick up the girls. You said. Yeah, but I'm scared of being. So that's like the tailgate party for the club for you. Mm. Yeah, I stopped doing that when I was about eighteen though. All that I stopped doing that at eighteen. So what was you doing then? I wouldn't go nowhere near the clubs and stuff. So what was you? Where was you going? Traveling the world? I was, no, I just went to, you know, I was traveling, all right, but I wasn't traveling to go have fun. And then I was traveling. <laughs> I was just going, trying to go from town to town, trying to, you know, do whatever I was doing. But that was my thing. I didn't, I wasn't trying to be hanging out and being around no people. Hmm. Mm -mm. I'm scared of people, to be honest with you. I'm scared of death. How you scared of people and you were going to have followers? How you, I, how no, I'm, scared, I, I'm scared of, I, I'm scared to like be out around a bunch of people who party and stuff like that. Like when we went to the 1800 thing? Yeah. Did you know that where I stood? I stood real still. I'm scared of people. Yeah, I, I know that. I'm scared. I don't like people. Know why? No, want me to tell you my reason? Because when people make a mistake, um, sort of like you said you went out the other night. You said, and it was so packed in there, whatever like that, you're like, all right, I got to get out of here. Yeah. Right? I don't like people, I don't like having to be accountable for somebody else's mistake. And a mistake could be, pour, spill a drink on me, step on my foot, bump into me, elbow me they get into a fight with somebody else and anything and then they end up swinging and they hit me or whatever like that so now i have to react so i got to be accountable for your mistake no but okay but if you know they might be a little intoxicated or something no i'm, I'm not just i'm, I'm not responsible from. i'm not responsible I, yeah, yeah yeah move away from them. yeah i move home that's away from them. accountability I, I take accountability so how do you, what do you do to have fun go home get on the computer and Try to figure out new ways to do stuff. I like to write. I like to write. I like to watch movies. I like to. I like to um, be creative. I like creating new stuff. I'm a creator. So why you make a movie then? Why you don't put your life into a movie? I did it in a stage play already. I said a movie. I, I, know I just the, need to. I know the difference between a play and a movie. Mm -hmm. I said a movie. So why you tell me about a play? Can I say something? I was the first person to do it. Um, three dimensional stage play. Can I say that? Can I say that though? Cause you, you got know, proof. Yeah. You googled it. Tell me, else, tell me who else did this three-dimensional stage play, where you could watch the play and you could see it on see different parts on the screen and back and forth to the screen and the stage. Killed it. Killed that. 
So you need to Killed have that, that so somebody can Solitary see it. Solitary pen. Killed that. See, you should, see, you supposedly had the footage so everybody can see it. There is footage. I got some of the footage. I'm going to post it. I'm going to post it. Hey, but, um. That was, it was good. It yeah. was dope. Yeah, it was dope. Hey, that's it, though, man. I ain't got nothing else to say. Um, I'm probably going to think of a million things to say after this. Is over. Think like, damn. Yeah. I meant to say that. I, I guess on your little paper, you nailed everything. My little paper. Why my paper little? It's folded, isn't it? Oh. But I, you why, act like it's a oh, big sheet oh, of paper. But why people always say something little when they don't like it? Yeah. Oh, you see a little mic. It's stupid. Your little, see, 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 it's little or stupid. Yeah. Stupid is when stupid is like when a girl she like a guy, but she say all his stuff is stupid. It looks stupid. It looks stupid. You know what I mean? But she really like the dude. Get your ass out of here. No. Uh, Alright. That's Yo. just the way I'm saying. <laughs> she don't want to admit she like him. Yeah, that's what I think. And anything but um and everything. Alright, we out of here. No more and everything. No more. Uh, she hit me just to explain it. Because you, every time you say you say it, and then you say, what's the other word you're supposed to say? You can't you know say it. I'm saying? Damn, that was the first one. That should, that should hurt, for real. Well, practice make perfect. You right, you right. And um, I'm going to make you be, I mean, I can't make you be perfect. I'm going to have a drink on that. Yo, <laughs> we out of here, man. Anything this week? This week? Uh, this marks another week. Gosh, she didn't hear that. Um, marks another week um, of disturbingly random. Um, I'm Ro. Miss Kitty, Miss Kitty, he and Kit saying it.